Mm. You know what they say? An apple day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> well, an apple at Q1, three times in a row, keeps the cuties going cray. That was a fun night, huh? How about them apples? For those of you who missed the show slash shows last night, ooh, baby, you missed a wild one. Ask your friends who played. They'll fill you in. But today, you get to be part of Quistery. Yes, as I officially induct the Red Delicious Apple into the HQ Hall of Memes, alongside Bird's Nest Soup, the USDA Food Plate, Canberra, the Renminbi, and Octopuses. Yeah! It is Wednesday, my dudes, and it is time to play HQ, the live mobile game show where we answer questions to win cash. I'm your host, Senator Glitch McConnell, Little Glitchard, Glitchard Pryor, the Wicked Glitch of the West, Glitchy McGuire, Scott the Glitchuation Rogowski. Staying glitch perfect with all eight, 655,000, almost 700,000 of you live, including Magic Mike Pelosic for some of those nicknames, Mr. Bird and his teacher, Addie Grayson, because they play HQ every day in class together. Carly's dad, Howard, turning 62. Coronado Island Marriott front office crew. Happy anniversary to John and Brandy. Good luck to Izzy, Larissa, and Chelsea on their AP exams. Ooh. City of Madison's traffic and parking HQ crew. We see you. And the Spanish scoundrel with a big birthday today. We're trying something new this week on HQ. Mixing it up. Box of chocolates week. You never know what you're going to get. You're going to be glad you tune in for this one. Because our prize today, it's a big one, folks. You're playing for a whopping, a flopping, 20,000 Dippin' Dots, 20,000 Dark Wing Ducks, $20,000, 20 racks, 20 bands, 20 large. You can go apple picking upstate every weekend for the next 45 years with that kind of money. Or just buy an entire apple orchard and just, you know, start your own apple picking business, huh? $20,000, that is your prize today. You don't see that kind of money very often. No, you don't. Are you ready to win it? Yeah, I want to give it to you. We're a match made in heaven, aren't we? So let's get down to the nitty gritty with over 700K in the game today, playing for $20,000. Let's get this show on the road. Kimro numero uno. Which of these is a vehicle with three wheels? Tricycle, Trick Daddy, or Triceratops? I don't know what this world's gonna bring, but I know one thing. That this is the life for me. Yeah, I hope this wasn't too tricky for you. Uh, even the 305 mayor knows that three-wheelers are called tricycles. I want to ride my tricycle. I want to ride my trike. 694,486 of you are trike daddies taking it to the house and Q2 today. What word does Aretha Franklin spell out in her iconic 1967 hit? Respect, Robocop, or Redonculus? It's not an ironic hit. It's iconic. She's a diva, an icon. R-O-B-O-C-O-P. Find out what he means to me. No, no, no. This song was not on Robocop soundtrack. All Aretha was asking for was a little R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Respect. What you want? Baby, I got it. 647,036 got this one. You can sock it to me, 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 sock it to me. Come quietly or there will be trouble at Q3. What Canadian province's name is Latin for no, for New Scotland, Nova Scotia, Ontario, or Alberta? Whew, I'm still coming off last night. New Scotland. Mm, think about it. There's a new Scotland? I'm still getting used to the old Scotland. Perhaps the answer is the one with two words. Yes, Nova is Latin for new, and uh, you figured it out. Halifax, Nova Scotia, 597,330 are getting just the Halifax, ma'am. Shout out Nova Scotia's own Sloan on this one. We got a lot of Money City Maniacs in the game today for Q4. Which of these speeds is typically fastest? Speed of light, speed of sound, or they're the same? Speeds. Wings were at the speed of sound in the 70s. Speed of sound goes pretty fast, varies on environment, but generally hovers around 760 miles per hour. But in a foot race with light, it's no contest. 
as La Luz zips along at more than 670 million miles per hour. That's why you see lightning before the thunder, right? Speed of light's your answer here. 528,612 of you H cuties light up my life. And you're getting Q5. Three consecutive strikes is known as a turkey in which of these sports? Bowling, cricket, or volleyball? I'm not a chicken. You're a turkey. In baseball, three strikes and you're out, right? In cricket, which Robin Williams called baseball on Valium, there aren't strikes in that sense, but there is bowling in cricket. Bowling, though, has strikes. And if you roll three in a row, well, turkey is what you got. Turkey trotting today, 447,067 of you getting this one right. Strike! The rest of you are obviously not bowlers. Q6, at the start of his career, Justin Bieber was mentored by which of these musicians? Jay-Z, Usher, or DJ Khaled? I gotta say it like, DJ Khaled! Major key alert right here at Q6. This dude called the teenage Bieber a young phenomenon when he introduced him to the press in 2009 and ushered him onto his path of global celebrity, which if you're following the Biebs on Instagram right now, he's lamenting it. Usher is your answer. Usher is who we have to blame for the Biebs. 361,658. Don't have to say you're sorry. That poor monkey has never been the same, by the way. What's up with Bieber's monkey? Q7, by definition, which of these words can refer to a college graduation ceremony? Commencement, matriculation, or initiation? Cue the land of hope and glory here. When you're enrolled in school, you're matriculating. When you join a fraternity or sorority, you're initiated into it. But while commencement means a beginning or start, the commencement address happens at the end of school when you graduate into the cold, cruel world. 334,372 are throwing their caps in the air, flipping that little tassel to the side. For Q8, which of these baseball pitches puts the least spin on a ball? Curveball, fastball, or knuckleball? The least spin. Spin, spin, spin. A curveball curves because it has a whole lot of spin on it yeah and even though a fastball doesn't quite curve as much it still revs up those rpms especially when compared to the fluttery frustrating knuckleball which is thrown with almost no spin at all shout out the necros tim wakefield charlie huff hoyt willem all right dicky baby charlie zinc and 175,544 of you who are not swinging and missing here the rest of you big whiffa Q9, the name of Shakespeare's only son is one letter off from the title of what play? Macbeth, Othello, or Hamlet? Did lose a whole lot of you there on the baseball question. Come on, it's baseball season. You know I like baseball. I'm going to ask about it. Study up on your baseball and your Shakespeare. We love to ask about Billy Shakes. He was making babies. Three of them. He had three kids. One son. Long before he wrote the play about the doomed heir to Denmark's throne, Shakespeare named his only son Hamnet. Probably after his close friend Hamnet Sadler. No relation to Adam Sandler or Donnie Sadler. 76,125. Q10 or not Q10? That is the question. Well, the 76,000 plus of you are getting it. Q10, which of these terms comes from a French phrase that means come help me? Ahoy, Mayday, or SOS? Lost a good chunk there. Shakespeare had children. SOS. I'm sending SOS, has origins in Morse code, SOS. Ahoy, Poloi. Ahoy seems to literally just come from people shouting ahoy. Mayday, however, comes from the French, venez mayday. Venez mayday, which means literally come to my aid, come help me. Oscur, Oscur, 50,854. Don't need help today. The rest of you sending out an SOS. But Q11, we go the penultimate question. Which of these celebrities does not go by his middle name? Bruce Willis, Ashton Kutcher, or Justin Timberlake? 50,854 players at Q11. $20,000 riding on this question. Well, you got to get this one and the next one. Remember, Christopher Ashton Kutcher and Walter Bruce Willis, Walter, have two things in common. Both were married to G.I. Jane. And both are the incorrect answers to this question. If you tap Justin Randall Timberlake, 
then you can't stop the can't stop the can't stop that winning feeling. Twenty two thousand twenty five of you are bringing HQ back. The rest crying me a river at Q11 because you're out of the game. Come back tonight. But for the twenty two thousand twenty five of you who left at Q12, well, you know what happens now. This is it. It all boils down to this. There's twenty thousand dollars at stake for twenty two thousand and twenty five of you who have made it this far, climbed your way to the top of the mountain today, but you have to summit it. You gotta reach the peak, Q12, of these three states, which has been the birthplace of the most US presidents, Illinois, Vermont, or Georgia. Get the presidential at Q12 today. Oh, 20,000 beans, 20,000 peanuts, like, in Georgia, Plains, Georgia, right? Famously home to peanut farmer Jimmy Carter. But that's it. While multiple presidents are associated with Illinois, Abraham Lincoln was born in Kentucky and Obama was born in Hawaii. Only Ronald Reagan was born in Illinois, Tampico, Illinois. But claiming both Chester A. Arthur and Silent Cal Coolidge is the Green Mountain State, Vermont, which is going to make it green for 7,518 of you today, you're our big winners, baby! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 7,518 winners splitting $20,000, earning some green for the Green Mountain State making your friends all green with envy today because you are HQ champions. Hail to the victors. Will Pink, Juggalo, Juggalo Lotus, Beardly DJ, DG, Jake Dixon 504. A whole lot more of you winning $2.67. That's good for a few apples, I'd say. Huh? Mmm. That is delicious. If you didn't win today and you want to come back tonight, well, there's nothing stopping you. You can do it. That's right. Come back to 9 o'clock at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern Time. More trivia. More money. Of course, every weekday, live 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. I really should stop eating on camera. It never works out for me. That's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoy your hump day. Hope we helped you get over that hump. Until tonight, when we're back at 9, I'm Scott Rogowski signing off. Saying, if we meet this week's quota, I'll take you to the most duck-filled pond you ever sat by. <laughs>